Hello and welcome to my channel. Welcome back if you've been here before. This pick a card reading is a peek into 2024 where we're going to look at uh, love and relationships, career and prosperity and self-care and personal development. So each or one of your three piles will have those three areas covered in the reading. And as always, we have our three piles here with group one on the left through to group three on the right. The timestamps will be in the description box below along with the cards that I'm using. If you'd like a private reading with me, you can book that in the description box also. There will be some spots for January open very shortly. With that being said, I will leave you with your selection and I hope you enjoy your reading. Hey group one and welcome to your reading. If you have chosen the blue amber, then this one is for you. We're doing a peek into 2024 today. So we're going to be looking into the year ahead. I've got three separate mini reads here for you. One is on relationships. There's a whole stack of cards for each pile. We've got um, career and prosperity and we have self care and personal development. And we also have the card you've chosen for your reading. The one that is going to be the sort of encapsulating energy of your year and it is the energy of transformation. So this isn't about little change, this is about big, big change. This is this is definitely going to be your year, group one, as I'm looking at these um, different piles that I've pulled for you. Uh, th this, is, this is definitely a prosperous and wonderful year for you. I really can see that in these cards. So let's jump straight into the relationships part of your 2024. And we have the card Lovers from Sacred Destiny. We have Vanilla, Popularity and Visibility. We have By the Book. Authenticity, Truthful, Genuineness, Not Holding Back and Being Your True Self. Unfamiliar, Incomparable Love. Segs feels magical, unlike any other experience. Fear, love stirring up fear, hard to control emotions, proceed with caution. And for the tarot, we have the, uh, the Hierophant, the Nine of Cups, the Magician, the Ten of Swords, the Devil, and the four of wands. So looking at your year for relationships, what I can see here for a lot of you, and especially, oh no, it's not there now, but it was at the bottom of the deck. There was uh, something and the 10 of cups. I can't quite remember now, but I did see the 10 of cups and in that depiction was the, a marriage scene. And here we have the Hierophant. So for a lot of you in this pile, you may already be in a relationship. You may be experiencing um, a deeper of commitment in your relationship. Those that are not in a relationship, you can see that you might be attracting somebody this year who is going to bring a lot more stability to your life and potentially lead to marriage and long-term commitments. Um, for those of you that are, are single, then these relationships can be found in friends and um, co-workers, people in our community that raise us up and are a part of our journey. So. For relationships, you've got a lot of wish fulfillment here. You've got, you, I, we can basically see you're highly likely going to have a fantastic birthday celebration surrounded by the people that really care about you this year. You're manifesting better opportunities when it comes to your community. Celebrations are definitely happening this year. Lots of parties, lots of invites, lots of gatherings. Somebody here who celebrates all of the festivities. So you might be someone who celebrates um, and, and decorates and goes all out. We've got a Halloween scenario here, Easter, Christmas, equinox, solstice, all of the different um, festivals. You might be someone who really likes to get down and have a bit of a party. There's a lot of um, changes for you in relationships here as well. And it's really blessed changes. You've, you, you may in the last year have said goodbye to relationships that have not been working for you, friendships, intimate partners, whatever it might be that, um, and you, I see here that you are wanting to surround yourself 
with more like-minded people, people that are going to be respectful and supportive of you. I can see you attracting a lot of friends this year as well. You're, you're definitely removing yourself from unhealthy situations, but like the card transformation, you'll see that in all areas of your life really big transformation. So these changes with the devil and the 10 of swords, this isn't a, somebody who's stabbed everywhere like a typical 10 of swords, this is a phoenix rising. And the flame behind sort of maybe says that there might be temptation to go back to old partnerships or friendships. There may be temptation. There's something still alive there perhaps, there's something you might still care for some people that are in your past, but there's a lot that you're learning and you're growing and you're learning about yourself through releasing the people and situations that don't work for you and it leads you towards a fantastic community and deeper connections, potentially marriage connections, um, just they're being surrounded by the people that really care about you, that are there for you as you achieve all of your dreams this year. And with authenticity, another card to denote that you are you are only wanting to be around people who are authentic and who can respect you for who you are, not holding back your true self um, any intimacy, I think we can say that it would be very, very deep intimacy, especially given that we have the lovers card here as well. So if you do have a partnership um, or are, you will be finding a partnership this year, um, you can expect a real depth of intimacy. With the lovers card though, it's also a card of su the suggestion of finding love everywhere in our friendships, um, just in everyday life, in the sweet little connections with strangers just everywhere love is all around you that type of vibe let's go to the book for lovers yes it is love it drives you forward and pulls you back to your heart it makes you mind it makes the mind mad with misunderstanding and breaks it open into enlightened compassion it is love your yearning heart shall have it your desire is to be the lover of the beloved this oracle brings the message of love love and love it is finding you now be open to it in all its forms. Be the god and the goddess of love and paint the town red. Play in passionate embrace with the life as your lover and prepare to receive even more than what you believed you are capable of handling. So seeing love in every every moment, in every, every little blessing that's around you, even in the painful releases that brings transformation, finding love everywhere is going to bring you so much more love. So when it comes to love this year, absolutely a fantastic fantastic message and when with by the book it is about having fair and honest relationships around you being able to be authentic being able to know that you are in safe hands and being there for the people that are there for you doing things correctly making sure everyone's needs are met but also your needs are met too there's a lot of equality and balance in your relationships this year and then with vanilla we have popularity and visibility i like vanilla because it's like seemingly um boring but it's not it's actually one of the most scrumptious flavors ever and uh, extremely popular but let's go to the book for vanilla vanilla essence is attractive captivating and can help encourage increased levels of sexual hormones making it a powerful aphrodisiac and a divine essence for the bedroom it is an amazing essence for the reproductive system and all things to do with the second chakra like creativity sensuality empathy and self-worth Vanilla shows your value and the importance of the contribution you make to the world. Vanilla fosters personal, personal passion, sexuality, wildness, and loves touch as a form of communication. It helps heal emotional conflicts over sensitivity, bitterness, and hostility. It raises kindness and helps truly understand what is required to be in a balanced relationship. When she is around, she is noticeable, unmistakable, and loved by many. There are lots of aspects to her and she can somewhat she can be somewhat versatile. Vanilla gets intimidated and put off by bitterness, anger and hostility. It repels people that are full of themselves but pretend they are not. She can work hard for her dreams, but she only thrives in sweet environments. Stop hiding behind the scenes, go and shine your light, show your best attributes and be graciously flamboyant. Bring sweetness into your life. It seems you have lost connection with your creative or wild side. You may feel that way and it's time to bring that back you will be doing that this year there's lots of wish fulfillment and you are manifesting it when it comes to divine relationships special supportive communities releasing toxins and relationships that are not good for you um, 
even health changes in a really big way here with the ice. We've got ice cream marked here twice, so there might be something about an ice cream date or ice cream might be somewhat significant or a, like a, a, a sign for you in, in 2024. But yeah, let's move on into the career area of your reading. So in career we have for prosperity and abundance, yin, <laughs> pretty positive one to start with. You have holly, manifesting, student, the rebel, charity, and in your tarot you have the seven of wands, the ace of wands, the six of pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, lots of Pentacles, the Wheel of Fortune, fantastic to see that with the Three of Pentacles and the Sun. So another super positive message for you. 2024 is your year group to, group to and there's the Den to confirm it. I'll put that on shush. That was definitely like bing, it is your year. Okay, so let's go straight to Yin for so with the prosperity message for yin, we have this is a time when the most effective action is to allow others to show you the way forward. Observe their behavior and follow their lead. Your desire to push through must take a back seat for now. Collaborate and offer your ideas rather than dictating what must happen. Let others come to you. It's important they feel they have that they have power now. Other meanings is about releasing your need to have things in the form that you want. How do you want to feel basking in your success? Now allow the universe to show you the form. Yin is the sign of essence. Things may go more smoothly than you expect. Starting with Yin. And I can see the exact message here with the Seven of Wands being your first card out. And that is a card of defensiveness and needing to control something. Sometimes it's also about standing up for what you believe in. And you do have the Rebel card here. So a trailblazer. You are definitely somebody who wants to create change. Um, whether it's in your life or the life of others. Trailblazer. Seeing things differently and set a new path for others. Your rebellious spirit makes you a great system buster to teach others a better way. An old belief system about money could be preventing you from getting ahead. They're things to consider from the rebel card and the seven of wands here. But then we see with the all of these fantastic cards together with the ace of wands, the six of pentacles, this is all about divine inspired ideas being there to help others. You have the card charity here along with the six of pentacles. That's exactly what this energy is. It's about benevolence. You might be somebody who wants to work with people in human services, counseling, any, any type of way which helps people. Um, see where you can give more of yourself to helping others and make a difference. Humanitarian work, human, human rights, justice or advocacy work could be right for you. Donating can create positive energy around you and attract more abundance. You might be somebody who wants to work with uh, volunteering as well. You might have time this year to volunteer, working for a soup kitchen, working with the homeless. Um, Any way you see fit. Six of Pentacles is there. You may have a lot more to give. Could also be about what you have to give in your current workplace and making sure there is equal exchange and that you feel like there's a fair contribution from all parties so with the queen of pentacles here you're definitely in this mastery energy and but yet you might be working on something else which makes sense i can see manifestation and the student in your cards as well so you are continuing to work on something perhaps from last year that you are you've been working at for quite some time you've got such an amazing level of mastery here in this field already but you might be wanting to branch out into something a little different something new with the wheel of fortune and the three of pentacles we already saw with yin let people come to you and they will this year you've definitely Definitely got this collaboration that's going to expand your world your work you keep your eye out for a collaboration with somebody who might be a little bit different to you that's that's very much what might be needed for you somebody who has a different background or something you both have things to contribute and learn together or share together it may not be one person it could be a whole group that you're collaborating with but you can definitely see here the th you I see a fine balance here as well on the things that you work on on your own that are yours and the things that you do with other people 
with manifesting we have you have all the tools you need to increase your income good fortune is coming soon an opportunity may come to you where you can showcase your talent and with the card holly that's also a message of crossroads and needing to make a decision there's a lot of abundance around you and you might be ready to strike out and do something new you might be starting a new course with the student card work with a mentor to learn new skills or to teach you how to implement your plan some of you might be teachers yourself and taking on some students this year you could be in school in to pursue higher education or work for a school district teach yourself to succeed with money or get a financial advisor to teach you some things to consider from the student card so with your area of love and uh, love and career, yeah, both of those are extremely positive. I see, see a lot of new ideas for you that you seem to just take and run with. So any inspired ideas you're getting, I definitely see a lot of artistry and creation. You're working with your hands quite a lot. There's this, it's a bit of an all-rounder year by the looks of this. You might be dabbling in a few different areas or a few different industries even. You might have more than one um, job or more than one income stream or business. But you're definitely seeing a massive expansion, especially when it comes time. I think you're going to be working on something on your own when this collaboration comes in. It might You might not expect it. It might be a wonderful surprise, but it's definitely worth paying attention to when it comes up. You may be a little resistant at the start, but um, and, and that may be because you want your work to be your own or there's something about working with others that might cause a little bit of fear or uncertainty for you but it is definitely encouraged because with the sun here it is going to be a very prosperous collaboration so yeah I definitely definitely see a good year for prosperity for you and now we're going to look into self-care and um, personal development we have I can change my thoughts we have some self-caring prompts is sing you're going to be doing a lot more singing this year or just letting yourself be heard we've got play sense look for fairies build strength energy work love your work and go full introvert interesting cards there and then for your tarot we have the page of pentacles the seven of swords the nine of wands the page of swords the eight of cups the eight of wands the knight of pentacles and the nine of pentacles so when it comes to your personal development and self-care I can change my thoughts to the first one out here. So definitely looking at situations from a different perspective so that you can grow. And I really feel like that's what you're doing here in the tarot. You can really, really see that you've taken an opportunity that was probably painful for you, and not an experience, sorry, and turned it into an opportunity to grow. That's what I wanted to say. So you, there may have been, you may have dealt with some betrayal or dishonesty in 2023 and this could have been you betraying yourself or it could have been within your work relationships anywhere in life there's a part of you that feels like shortcuts have been taken and i'm getting not giving the benefit of the doubt so i'm not sure what that's about maybe that's towards someone or towards you someone not getting the benefit of the doubt in some area but with the nine of wands that you can see here that you're perhaps feeling a little exhausted and guarded um, by these experiences and but what you're deciding to do is let them go and turn them into something better turning turning this experience into abundance for yourself to move forward because the nine of sorry the the page of swords is all about leaving no stone unturned and exploring a situation getting gathering all the information you can so that you can release and let go and move forward so to me this looks like you are learning about yourself and the patterns you attract the patterns you that continue to repeat in your life and how to manifest change there how to change your thoughts how to let go and feel a lot easier We've got with energy work, I can see you doing a lot of exactly that energy work to help clear out with the eight of wands here, to clear out things of the past that don't work for you anymore. You're learning new ways about dealing with people 
and responding to the world, the way you see the world is changing. And with the, also with the play and look for fairies, there's this real indication of doing what you want to do, doing things on your terms. That's going to be needed this year to go out and just do things spontaneously. Nine of Pentacles is here. You have got a lot of abundance around you, but this is an independence card as well. So this might be about taking a little trip on your own or doing something that is just for you. Maybe going to a, I'm hearing silent retreat. Someone might be going to a silent retreat. Um, or it could be, it could be anything at all, but there's, there's a lot of things that, uh, um, it's really important that you focus on what you want to do. By all means, joining with other people is fantastic, but don't hold back doing things you want to experience because no one else wants to come, that type of thing. It's okay to go to a meal by yourself or a little weekend getaway by yourself if that's possible for you. Um, not waiting for other people to go and travel or do and see things. So I definitely see like a lot of internal work with regards to letting go of old thought systems and things that don't work for you. With building strength, definitely exactly as you see it in the card, you might be taking up a bit of an um, exercise routine this year. We have that card of, again, the transformation. So it is in all areas of your life, you're going to see massive transformation this year, really, really positive transformation. And in the area of self, it's digging deep into your psyche and your emotional responses is what I can see here. And choosing healthy eating, healthy foods, maybe just investing a little bit more into uh, where you get your food from or maybe ha creating the ability to grow your food or maybe just your herbs. Definitely seeing a lot of self-care when it comes to diets, exercise, all of that as well. With love your work, ask yourself to, if what you're doing is truly making you happy and go full introvert spend time alone to experience and appreciate and love yourself it's definitely going to be a theme this year asking yourself what makes you happy um, and not being afraid to go for it and do that on your own with go full introvert and the nine of pentacles there's a lot of indication here that it's important to be your own best friend this year go look for fairies go for little walks and open your imagination play find find opportunities to play whether it's with your pets your children or just nature or yourself do do play and we have the card sense as well that is a card of enjoying the senses aromatherapies but also the sense of how you're feeling about things and what you believe in there's going to be a major transformation in all of these areas this year but super positive and, and not fast this with the knight of pentacles the page of pentacles capping this energy this is something you're slowly working on it takes it takes a while and i'm getting like the image of weeding a garden and planting new seeds so affirmations positive thinking and that's coming back to that i can change my thoughts so this year is going to be a huge turnaround and i'm guess coming back to the exercise that's going to be a big one with helping with thoughts you, um, you may not think so, or the idea of exercise could be like, you know, stuff that, I don't want to be uncomfortable, but it's actually really, really beneficial for you to move through some of these energies and thoughts. It's, it's extremely beneficial. Your body is a walking chemist and every single contraction of a muscle will secrete the feel-good chemicals into your brain, into your body. So you will make yourself feel better, even if it feels a bit sweaty and gross at first, or it's a struggle, there's resistance, there's, you know, whatever but you will feel better for it and you're doing that and you're doing more energy work there's a lot more focus on where you direct your energy where you direct your intentions this year and you're letting go of the things that just don't matter anymore and learning how to protect yourself from or seeing the warning signs of certain patterns you're not allowing I think also yeah you're not allowing something that happened in 2023 to, to, uh, to affect you any longer or something. Like I think you want to wrap something up so that it can't affect you anymore. And maybe it's something that's not quite finished. Maybe for some of you there is something here that, in, that is ongoing, that is a struggle, but you will be, as I can see, it is something you will be working on throughout this year and feeling really, really good for it. So yeah, two of pentacles. That is the last card I've pulled for your reading. I uh, just felt like grabbing an extra one. And the Two of Pentacles is all about change. 
can and so with that holly oracle card you had earlier that is all about crossroads and change so you, you're looking at the old you're looking at the new and you're ready to embrace the old even if it means a bit of ruffled feathers along the way even if it means it's a little bit uncomfortable at first maybe it makes a little bit of mess before it all comes together but this is a really good year for you group one so that is what i have for you in your 2024 reading i hope it has given you some sort of comfort clarity or guidance and I look forward to reading for you all again next week. Bye. Hey group one and welcome to your reading. If you have chosen the blue obsidian, then this one is for you. This one is Jackson's favorite piece, his favorite crystal ever. And if you're new to the channel, Jackson is the selector of the crystals. He's my son. But anyway, so Blue obsidian, it is a stone of grounding, clear communication. It's also a bit of a psychic stone, so you might like to use this to help you with any of your clairvoyance, clairsentience, psychometry, psychic development, any of that stuff. So it might be a year of that for you, speaking your truth, connecting to your intuition and grounding yourself. So group two, I have three different areas of your life here, so three little mini reads. One is on relationships, there's a, a stack of oracles and um, tarots all here. We have a pile for, uh, that was relationships, this is career and work and prosperity. And then we have a little reading here for um, self-development and self-care that sort of stuff so the card you have chosen for your reading today is truth and this is going to be the major energy of your year it is about facing the truth accepting the truth speaking the truth and living by your truth the truth is going to be revealed this year it is going to be unavoidable and it is going to be transformational that's what i'm getting for you for truth so in the uh, love and relationship area we have self-initiation, community, building blocks, ylang ylang with sensuality and intimacy, idealism, disrespect, self-worth and then in your tarot we have the empress, the Three of Swords, don't run away. The Nine of Wands, the Tower, stick around guys, it'll get better. The Five of Cups, it's not even that bad. You got, you've already got this. The Star, the Fool, the Lovers, the King of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune to finish out your cards. So amazing, interesting complex so group two it looks like relationships may have been a bit of a struggle for you especially looking at these cards here with idealism disrespect and self-worth you may have come through something quite painful in the previous year or even years you may some of you may be still in a relationship where there is some disrespect and um complications and pain are definitely a lot of struggle in the area of relationships for you you may have with idealism ide reality doesn't match um, the ideality uh, love to be in love always searching for the one so you may resonate with some of those things or you may have had someone in your journey in your life that you loved a lot and you may have had rose-colored glasses with them and and it turns out they were actually very self uh, disrespectful and so it's more about you figuring out you know your self-worth what you deserve in love and what you're willing to accept and that might be something you're coming into 2023 2024 sorry with um getting ready to you know exactly as this says build building blocks and community self-initiation you're getting ready to take care of yourself and build yourself back up again perhaps after something quite painful for you um, and with community and building blocks, I definitely see that message of surrounding yourself with respectful and um, kind-hearted people that will help you, help embrace you and help you embrace yourself, help you accept and love yourself deeper. And as we go into the tarot here, we'll go back and forth between them. 
We have the Empress here to start your reading and then the Three of Swords. Well, the Empress first. So this shows you who you are, what you're worth, what it is you have to offer. You have so much to offer. An extremely abundant person, whether you're male or female, it does not matter. This is, this is somebody who is pregnant because they are fertile. It means they have room for growth and they have the capacity, they have the ability, they have the nurturing, they have the skills, the tools, everything is required to make life great, to feel abundance, to share abundance. It's all there. But the Three of Swords is here. So you may, for some of you, have come through a great deal of pain. Given that this is the Empress, this could be, um, you know, there could be children involved, a family dynamics, um, marriage, or just, yeah, it's very complicated. And the Three of Swords, the Nine of Wands and the Tower. For some of you, because this is a peak into 2024, this could be a relationship you're in that is already breaking down and you will see it break down in the start of 2024. You will see something crumble. It may be unexpected because the Tower is there, but given the cards and the just there yeah, given the cards that are here i think you're already well aware of this relationship whether it's current in your life or in the past you are going to be rebuilding and it's interesting we've actually got the building blocks from the tower because you are you're going to need your community this year you're going to need your friends you're going to need to reach out for help and you're going to need support uh, and you're going to need to be there for yourself and be that friend be that support and help yourself build back up really believe in yourself and not be afraid or not go back to things that are not good for you because we have this tower here but even in the tower she's actually a bit smug and you know like for many of you not all of you but for many of you you're like you're like you're actually just taking your power back and enough is enough and you're like you know what so what i'm i'm not having this anymore i want my power back i'm going to do what i need to do to take care of myself and blowing this up and while at the mo in that moment it may feel very empowering there's also going to be waves of emotions that come after that with the five of cups here there is a, there is sadness there is depression there is loss there is grief it's it's a whole lot to deal with there's exhaustion here with the Nine of Wands as well. See, she's got a bandage on her head. Some of you may have experienced domestic violence. And um, if that is the case, I highly recommend getting some ongoing support from a counsellor to speak about it, speak about your rights and what's going on for you. So the cards do get better. As you saw at the start when I picked them up, we do have the Star, the Fool and the Lovers, the King of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune in your reading. So things do turn around. There is some shift in fate. There is a renewal of hope for you. Things are feeling like they're looking up. You're ready to experience new things. So you really turn it around this year. Some truth may come to light with this Three of Swords. It could be a betrayal. It could be very painful what comes to light for you or may have already already maybe dealing with it maybe it's just a ready to face the truth of who someone really is in your life and with the fool here you're so excited to take a new leap of faith after having gone through the motions having healed and picked yourself back up again and cried the tears you've needed to cry release the idealism you know stepping into your own sense of self-worth and building that back up again respecting your body really taking care of your body in all ways how you speak to yourself how you caress or touch yourself how you wash yourself how you feed yourself um the the sleep you let yourself have the routines you give yourself so that your body is moving so that you're feeling good you're not becoming a couch potato or something in a slumber or in a in a depression or anything like that you're getting yourself moving those sorts of things like you're gonna have to be there for you um, but it all is really turning around. We have the lovers here. You make some sort of commitment or a choice to take a new path and maybe even give someone a, sh a chance here. We have the King of Pentacles showing up here and we have the Wheel of Fortune. So it's like for some of you, you may meet someone maybe later in the year or towards the end of the year. I can't say for timing. It's a general reading and it's so hard to say for you know a general for a look into 2024. So I'm kind of trying to keep it light. Um, but yeah, definitely seeing a massive change. You, you're going to go and do something new or travel to a different place where you meet this person or just do something different for you. You may be getting yourself out more, exercising more, moving around more, feeling better about yourself and it brings in this change, this abundance. And this person, look at the cake. <laughs> they may be a baker, but this, this cake here, the wine, the, the, the bull, the dog, everything, they, this person is abundant. They have a lot to offer. They have a lot of comfort in their presence and maybe a lot of decadence there with that chocolate cake. They may be a very decadent person, somebody who has a lot of maybe finances or 
has just like enjoys those finer things in life. You may also be looking to move with this person. We have a house on the um, Wheel of Fortune there and this house in the background just really makes me think this person's got something to welcome you into. So they're maybe already sort of situated in their life and they have um, maybe a spare space for you or something. There's a lot of growth around this person. So you can see a big change in your relationships and just feeling more supportive. And for those that do not are not open to another relationship, they've gone through something and it's quite enough, they really do see themselves taking time out and not accepting that, then this King of Pentacles can absolutely be your own energy, bringing that stability into your own life, being a provider for yourself, stepping up, making that commitment to, yeah, and getting like an as within, so without. And that might be the path you take to attract the right partner for you as well by becoming that person that you wish to attract. So in the oracles, we had the self-initiation. I'll read just from the bottom bit. There's a big rain coming in now. Hopefully you can hear me. This oracle holds the message that there are many teachers on this path. Some humble, some wise, some great companions on your life journey, and some who will enter in and out of your life quickly, perhaps imparting a helpful word or teaching you a more challenging lesson about trusting and relying on your own wisdom. The greatest teacher, however, is life itself. You can trust in your own experiences and know that it is divine spark within you, the life within you, that is the one true teacher who carries you home in awakened reunion with the divine. I love that. This is that's that's what this is about. You coming home to yourself and trusting in yourself, um, being careful with yourself and the people you surround yourself with, being being careful with who you allow into your presence. So as we saw before with uh, community and building blocks, I might go to the book for the relationship message for those relationship. You're discovering the essential qualities that you share with another, or perhaps those that you don't share. There are times when you follow and the other person leads, and times when you lead and the other follows. The appearance of this card points to the importance of learning the proper dance between you and another. Accepting the truth, that's interesting because you have, that's been mentioned enough now that there's a lot here about facing the truth of something. Accepting the truth that everyone has flaws is part of that dance, yet you are also being asked to be aware of the dynamics that you don't want to repeat. You're in the perfect place to make changes in order to experience the best version of who you can be. And we had building blocks, I'll go 28, the building blocks relationship message. When you see this card, you know that you are attracting new relationships into your life and that really confirms what we saw in the tarot for you um, and solidifying the ones that you already have by building them on the foundation of honesty humility clear communication and genuine desire to know one another you are moving towards laying the groundwork for a relationship with the firm footing that will ensure that it can withstand any storm long-standing relationships are also repaired and strengthened you and the other person are stronger, wiser, and more powerful together than apart. I'll let you make that decision. Like I said, as a general, and some people connecting to this need to be apart from that person, and that is very clear. It is unhealthy for them. But others, you will know. Leave that with your discernment. That's part of reading, listening to these readings is using your own discernment for your situation. And of course, if you need more clarity, booking a private reading with someone you trust can be really helpful to get that definitive, even if it can say such a thing, um, definitive answer about your questions. So we had the Ylang Ylang and intimacy. Go to the book for that as well. It is such a sweet, um, sweet book. Sweet essence as well. The essence that instills pleasure. She has a charm and she is very feminine essence. She is exuberant and playful, but has two sides. She can also be serious when needed and has the power to heal the past and release emotions that have been bottled up for years. If things don't go her way, your Lang Lang personality can be pungent, leaving a bad taste behind. The negative traits can lead to grief and sadness, as well as a sense of disconnection. Your Lang Lang is an essence, essential essence, connected to her heart chakra by principle. She assists the matters of the heart and brings balance to intense emotions. She blends well with clary sage, bergamot and frankincense. Yelang Yelang is an attractive middle-aged woman. She is confident, but you can see that she is not as perfect as she pretends to be. There is a past that needs to heal, and the green in the card represents freedom and healing from the heart. 
healing of the heart. Ylang Ylang has come to your reading to remind you to let go of past hurts that you've been holding tight in your heart. Allow your emotions to flow naturally. Love your natural self because you are beautiful just the way you are. Awaken your divine feminine and make peace with your body. I release the past and that helps me remember who I truly am. And then the oracles we had as we saw idolism disrespect talking down to you don't respect your boundaries and they do inconsiderate things and then self-worth trying to fill a void feeling and coming off desperate or settling for less so these are some things that may be coming into your awareness with truth this year honest relationships relationships that are respectful and you're changing that up for yourself so truth <laughs> let's move into career and abundance for you we have Chaos and conflict do stick around. I promise. It's just, it's, yeah, anyway. Reconsider a decision. Setbacks. It'll be okay. Counselor. Unethical. Angelic help. Growth. And the tarot, oh, uh, Pimpernel. And in the tarot, you have the Ten of Swords. Four of Swords, the Two of Wands, the Page of Swords, Judgment, and the Ten of Cups for Career and Finance. So, of course, we saw the first card talking about reconsider a decision and setbacks. You also had the card Unethical. So, there might be an area in your work that you are not feeling good about. You might be wanting to reconsider a decision. For some of you, you might be doing something that feels like it's selling your soul or you're doing something that just doesn't feel honest for you. You might work for a company you don't believe in or you might be doing something that just doesn't feel like it honors who you are. And there's other ways to create that abundance. In fact, I think that for people in that position, it's actually a wonderful thing. Although you may not feel like it is in the moment, it's a, it really is because you get to investigate that why you doing why you're doing what you're doing and how you can turn that around and how the it truly is the key to finding that pathway to manifesting abundance in a way that is working for you and as within so without approach um there's a lot to learn through the self and that you will develop into through investigating that i don't know how to touch on it it's um i, I do feel like this is something that you're going to learn maybe through maybe through a hard lesson or, or like um like doing the hard yards first but it will all pay off in the end like um yeah i'll leave that with you for a moment what else did we have we had uh counselor angelic help and growth some of you may be deciding it'd be a good time to speak with a counselor or even a careers counselor you may be feeling like some of the other things that are going on in your life have got you set back from, from being able to even work at this time or know what career path you even want to take, if that is you. Some, some of you are um, home with little children and it's just not something you can really do yet. It might be something you're sort of starting to think about, how, what you can do. Uh, not for everyone, of course, but yeah, the counsellor might be beneficial but also to become a counsellor. You, you definitely, especially somebody who's been through their fair share of struggles, right? You've, you're the one who's got more to share than somebody who learned from a textbook somewhere. Someone with real life experiences who's truly brought them out the other side. When you have brought yourself out the other side, it's, that's when you hold the gate open for those behind you. And I do feel like there might be something you've done in the past that might be, even if it, the you know, challenge you've gone through, that may be beneficial in ways that you can help others Careers in counselling, psychic work or energy healing may appeal to you. Your mental or emotional troubles could be blocking your abundance. Maybe time for some emotional healing of your own or to release the past. So definitely working on some personal things and like the way you're viewing abundance and your capacity to manifest it and how to manifest it um, as within, so without. How you're feeling about yourself. How you, how you, yeah, you're valuing yourself. How you're valuing all of the little miracles and blessings that are here around you. We have angelic help. This is a time to trust the universe and know that you will be provided for. There is a career or blessing lining up for you, so stay positive and believe. 
Pay attention to the signs your angels have been sending you during this time. You've definitely been pointed in to reconsider some sort of decision. You might have started to take one path and it might not be working out or you may, it may be working out and you, this might be a warning that, to say that it may not work out. And so you are going to be surrounded by support. You are going to be picked up and guided onto a path that is going to be beneficial for you and bring you a great deal of growth. I love the way this has come out, even in the tarot, like it, and in all of these readings, it shows like the transition. Everyone is choosing positive change by the looks of these readings. Expect good news in money matters. Money will soon start flowing to your business. Promising opportunities are awaiting. Follow the angelic guidance though. Don't be afraid to leave something behind that doesn't feel right for you or even getting counseling around how to remove yourself or how to manifest. Maybe even a life coach could be beneficial for you if you feel uh, Pimpernel. I feel like going to Pimpernel. I think this is about making choices because there's a compass in the middle of this picture here. It's about the direction of your life, your career, Pimpernel. It's also known as Shepherd's Weather Glass, as it can tell both the time of day and foretell incoming weather. And I feel like this is something being foretold here that like something might not work out and you're encouraged to go with the flow when that when the change is coming. Um, its petals always close up at noon and will only open again if it's due to be sunny. If rain is on its way the flowers won't open at all you find yourself in a position of not being certain which direction to take but all the signs you need to make the right decision are there you just need to trust in your ability to spot them and that's the same thing here pay attention to the signs that your angels and guides are sending to you because it's all here it's even here in the judgment card so starting with your tarot we had the ten of swords and ending something not working you've, t you've decided to leave perhaps um, there's a, a this this can be in so many different areas it could be that you've chosen to leave a particular job a particular company or maybe it's that you've left the relationship and your whole life is changing and you've got to rebuild yourself this can this can be so many things but there's been a ten of swords an ending and then we have the four of swords and this is about contemplation and thinking of things through there's no real action in this card we've also got the two of wands so you might be i could see we see the card setbacks you might be experiencing a bit of a setback and trying to carefully plan for a different future, a different career. How are you going to set yourself up? It might be wise to study. There's definitely an indication of upskilling here with the Page of Swords. You're going to need to make some plans for the future and not look back. Upskill and learn different things, maybe even taking up a higher level study or even just a short course. Whatever it is, it's going to give you the skills to make you employable or be able to give you the capacity to share your talents share your skills be of service and then with the judgment and the ten of cups afterwards how's that from the ten of swords to the ten of cups and this is the angelic guidance i feel with the judgment it's an awakening you have a realization the more you start to discover you go and reach start like this is this is the leaving no stone unturned card. So this is about you going and making phone calls, inquiring, discovering, researching, Googling, doing what you need to do to find this path. And it, you'll go, you will be guided. It won't be a real hard search. Like you will be naturally guided. The time of day, the feeling, the impulse, follow it. Make, click that link, search, Google that thing, you know, research a little because it's, you're going to be led towards a path that makes you so happy and so fulfilled and give you the capacity to also provide for your family here with the Ten of Cups. Um, or even just feel like you work with people who feel like family or what you're doing is helping families. You may be someone who wants to help families or be a counsellor as we saw here. There's a lot of really wonderful changes here for you as long as you go with them in, in your area of relationships and in your area of career. So we, that first card we had was chaos or conflict and we'll go to the book. 33, threes might be special for you. and prosperity circumstances appear to be chaotic but everything that is happening now is in truth truth shaking things up so you can find the real path to your prosperity yes it's a stormy time and it feels as if there are opposing forces wherever you turn but reassured be reassured that there is divine purpose in this chaos Everything that doesn't work is being taken from you, so the truest parts of yourself remain. The events occurring now are essential for your ultimate prosperity. This chaos is divinely inspired, even though it doesn't appear that way now. 
in time you will know this to be true and that really really encapsulates that main card of your reading truth your your year is going to be about facing truth and it will set you free it might piss you off first as we all know and then in your area of self-care self-development we have i am unbreakable self-caring prompts meditation breakfast um, dance I love that card look at it it's really grabs the essence of dance um, dream journal chanting make a vision board get more done with a to-do list celebrate yourself and in the tarot we have the five of wands us uh, yeah five of wands the queen of wands the hierophant the six of swords the four of wands and the king of wands so area of self-care self-development and that is exactly what you will be doing <laughs> let's start with the i am unbreakable and given what we've seen in the area of relationships and career that things have been really testing you this last year this year you are going to show yourself that you are unbreakable all of these tests are actually something that can make you stronger make you unique and help you share your story share your strength with others and really believe in yourself turning chaos into art into beauty part of you as well i think is forgiving yourself or forgiving others a big part of the journey forgiving self feels like it's the biggest one for this forgiving yourself maybe for accepting less than you deserve or um, sticking around when you've maybe felt you should have left or yeah things like that but it's but it's all part of that valuable experience which we touched on just before the, the all of the experiences of life valuable so you, this year self-care more time for meditation definitely necessary and chanting affirmations mantra um i just i want to say the dv prayer or the adi shakti mantra or the gayatri mantra there's lots of different mantras you can listen to or prayers or chants that you can use that are actually very very empowering and if it's not an, an, a practice you've ever engaged in before I highly recommend giving it a try and creating your own experience with it, really actually giving it a try. I know in the past I've recommended this in readings and, and at times when people have gotten back to me because they actually tried it and they gave it a good knock, what I said must have inspired them enough to really do it. And, they, and I've had a few times people message me saying, wow, I actually didn't realize how powerful this is and how much it does work. So chanting mantras and affirmations to repeat it that ram das teaches mantra quite well if you'd like to um, learn through him polish the mirror is a great book he te teaches uh, mantra in there quite well but meditation and time to reflect is really important for you this year dream journaling writing down your dreams is a lot of hidden messages in your dreams particularly when you're going through a lot of stress um, it'd be a really good idea to write them down as soon as you wake up you can decode them later or even with a friend sometimes having another friend look over your dream they will get different messages than you did even if you think that friend isn't intuitive they are <laughs> they'll surprise you um, we have breakfast I think this is a really important one this is about um, when I pull this for some people it's also it's about the way you start your day so not loading up on carbs and sugar first thing in the morning um, there's so many wonderful things you can do coffee is even a um, not your best friend you know if you'd like to try something different there's other things you can do matcha lattes fantastic I personally take apple cider vinegar with warm water every morning that's that's my cuppa um, really good for digestion and setting your um, gut health up for the day apple cider vinegar angry apple juice I call it um, but yeah what you put in your stomach to help fuel your brain give yourself energy for the day very important but also the morning stretch things like that what you do in your morning to make it more um to set yourself up for the day are you rushing out the door to work or are you giving yourself a little bit more time to do something that grounds you and connects to yourself do a little journaling or pull a card for yourself things like that maybe you pull a card for your friends and post it online whatever you do 
So just keep keep those morning rituals going or, or create some morning rituals that are going to help set yourself up. Even if that's the way you start and the rest of the day is a mayhem, like just start somewhere. We have the card dance, a fantastic, I'm always recommending dance to everyone if you've got anything stagnant or laying around inside of yourself or not, just dance anyway. Um, it, it can be a very vulnerable moment to dance, especially if it's not something you've ever used before to release or express. It can be very uh, overwhelming, but dance is a fantastic release or even go out dancing with some friends. We have make a vision board. That one's pretty clear in this reading because there's been a fair bit of challenge in certain areas that you are turned, it's very clear that you are having to face the truth of this year and turn around. And what would be a one fantastic companion on this journey is the vision board. To make one and to gaze upon it every day to remind yourself of what you're creating. And I think a lot of the things you put on that vision board, if you do, complete one would be so bright and loud that they also because you don't want to put negative things on there but the things that you put on there are so positive that they overshadow those negatives so it goes without saying that you're not having whatever those things are you don't want anymore I hope that makes sense but um, just like cryptic sort of double meaning images things like that that you really you know like it, it hits deep like yeah, like a lot of intention going into that vision board if you're going to do that. It would be so beneficial to really stay the path and, and you will create you will create everything on it by the end of the year. You really will. If you, if you create it, um, yeah, I'll leave that with you. Get more done. Eliminate distractions. Get more done. And I think that helps with the vision board as well. It helps you stay on track for the things you want to embody. Um, I like this. I'm just noticing this yoga pose here so this is reminding her every day to stretch and be in her body prepare for the day get more done and celebrate yourself you've come so far it's not always about progressing and moving forward but actually looking how you've survived what you have and that you're willing and able to turn this all into something really powerful for yourself and that you already have done that many times in the past you'll do it again so in the tarot we have the five of wands, so wands? yeah keep going to say swords so as we can see here we've got a cackle of witches they are obviously bickering or gossiping and then we have the queen of wands so something sets you apart from the people of your community or your past and I think you are outgrowing a situation or a group of people in your relationship. So you, you may, there may be a lot of conflict um, in this area around people, getting along with people, or feeling understood by people. You might be very unique or a strong character in some way that um, you may find that you you come up against competition or petty drama a fair bit in, in life, but you are outgrowing a situation in friendships you're not afraid to be who you are and strike out and create a new self is what I'm getting for 24. You're, you're not going to be afraid to strike up your own ideas, your own natural expression to dress maybe a little differently or step into any roles of leadership or just not be afraid to make your own choices that are right for you. We have the hero fund here as well. You might be learning from somebody else who is very inspiring to you or finding a lot of lessons in spiritual teachers classic yogi teacher you hear so you really I think you might also be moving into becoming a teacher I think we spread in one of the cards here about energy work or being doing psychic work it might be something you're preparing for this year really like letting yourself step into these roles that you were meant to be um, not fighting it anymore not like losing like getting rid of the conflict with it that you might have within yourself about stepping into roles of leadership and stepping up we have the Six of Swords we saw before, the Four of Wands and the King of Wands. So King and Queen of Wands, definitely see Divine Counterpart energy here. That might be something that is happening for you, but this is the area of self-development. So we're looking more about your own leadership, spending a lot more time going for little walks in nature. I really feel that quite strongly for you as well. But just releasing stress, mental stress, baggage from the past. Six of Swords is you leaving behind turmoil and stress and coming into a time where you just feel so celebrated and connected to your community and the people around you and the events you go to where you spend your energy the things you pay attention to all of that is going to be really nourishing 
sources of nourishment for you. Whereas in the past it may not have been, you may be coming from conflict and battles. There is going to be a real release of that energy and coming into something a lot more happy and celebratory. And with the King of Wands, you are definitely charting your own course. Some of you might be traveling. Travel might be very important for you this year, traveling overseas. We've got two cards that indicate that just there together as well. You might be meeting a community overseas. But yeah, definitely, definitely things turning around for you. But it's a matter of facing the truth. It's a matter of not being afraid and stepping up into the, your own personal power with this Queen of Wands. She is a mystic woman. She is a healer. She is somebody who is not afraid to correct things, injustices, to lead the way by her own example. There's a lot I think you want to learn spiritual, spiritually from your community, from the spiritual teachers around you, perhaps some books and things. There's, I did mention Ram Das before, fantastic teacher. Um, that will help you really release any pressure and any stress and, and find your way where you're supposed to be. So that is what I have for you, group two, for this reading. It's fantastic. As much as that, like when I first started pulling your cards, I was like, oh dear, group two. But it, it, it is going to be your year. It's the truth that may piss you off, but it will set you free. And then you'll step into that truth and radiate it. And all these other people are going to be looking to you for that truth, for that guidance. How did you do it? They're going to be looking up to you. So group two, that's what I have for you in this reading. I hope it has given you some sort of comfort, clarity or guidance. And I look forward to reading for you all again next week. Bye. Hey, group three, and welcome to your reading. If you have chosen the rainbow or a quartz cluster and this one is for you so this could be your 2024 group three it could be a bit of an explosion of color and excitement but this is a beautiful stone for finding support in dysfunctional relationships and releasing resentment and grief so that might be a theme for you this year of just releasing um, grief and, and resentment and um, yeah, maybe navigating some dysfunctional relationships could be a bit of a theme, but it's also a good stone for activating all of the energy centers and bringing a zest for life. And the card that you've chosen, group three, is Healing Moon with Seek Healing. And that is going to be the theme for your 2024, is all about seeking healing and knowing that the situation you're in can be healed. There will be some miraculous healing this year so I've got your uh, reading broken up into three uh, little mini reads so one is going to be love and relationship we've got a whole bunch of cards for that we've got a bunch of cards for career and prosperity and then we have a little mini read bunch for uh, self-care and personal development so we we'll start with love and relationships and see what we have here we have the rings of time and this person head and hands gosh this I feel like it's it speaks volumes that image if you can sort of see a head in hands energy there maybe you can't I, I definitely see that there we've got a leg up lots of blue lots of blue um, your worst trust Proud, Neroli, Marjoram, uh, Ginger, Pettigrain, and for your tarot we have the Princess of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, the Fool, the hermit sorry these are all backwards but anyway the eight of swords the four of swords the queen of pent uh ten of pentacles the sun and the world so they were all backwards so you better put that back the other way starting with the world the sun the ten of pentacles and then we'll go this way all right so 
the area of love and relationships. All right, let's start with the world card. You can definitely see that you have come through a really big cycle in your area of love and relationships with the world being here and the sun, the 10 of pentacles is here as well. So this is something you have invested in, into very long term. This can be a marriage commitment. You may own assets together, that sort of thing. And for some of you, this relationship may be struggling or it may be over. You may have decided to go your separate ways in the last year because this year you're looking at a big change in the area of your long-term success and your personal growth and the way in which your abundance grows and where you spend your money. Um, we have the four of swords, the eight of swords and the hermit in the center here. So it definitely shows a freeze on the assets or, a, or some sort of freeze on the growth or the progress of a connection or in regards to your long-term relationships. You may have felt very powerless in this change and on your own with the eight of swords, four of swords, the hermit all being here. And even just this card, the leg up, it shows that this is a really a time to lean on support it's not a time to go it alone in these big changes that are happening for you you may be feeling outcast i'm getting for someone um or yeah definitely just getting this outcast feeling so that may um have happened in your in your relationships it doesn't have to be in uh, your intimate relationship it can also be friends and family and such but there's a lot of stress around um the stagnation or just the position that things seem to be in for you and that's and that changes and then we have the full the queen of pentacles and the page of cups so it shows that while your life foundationally i want to say has changed in a really dramatic way maybe in the past year and you might be coming to terms with those changes as you move into 2024 I can definitely see a massive turnaround with the way you navigate these changes because we have the Fool, the Queen of Pentacles and the Page of Cups. And coming from the cards behind you, it's like it really is an energy of dusting yourself off and um, starting again. With the Fool card, you may be starting something fresh and new. Um, and for a lot of you, this relationship is with yourself. I'm not... Um, picking up so much that there is an indication of a relationship that is new that is coming in this year for some of you maybe finding forgiveness or understanding with past relationships but for a lot of you i feel like you're just building up on your own self this year finding yourself spending more time with friends doing things differently th doing things that you haven't done before maybe taking up new hobbies um, making new friendships, make, valuing those and spending more time with those friendships. Um, just connecting with yourself seems to be a really big, important thing. I think you've also got a desire to protect your finances or your assets. It seems to come in here quite strongly. So they might, like, you might be just wanting to protect yourself or protect your money at this, at this year. Like it doesn't really, yeah, nine of wands. I'm not getting this d d desire to connect with someone else in an intimate way. Although you may have a relation, a partnership, it just what's coming out in these cards shows like a, a, a lot of barriers to get over or just maybe feeling really exhausted and battle weary or tired and just needing some to find your own way, needing just a bit of time on your own to work through some things. So with the rings of time, I'll go to the book here. This Oracle message is that the divine is completely responsible for the timing of every event, opportunity and happening of grace in your life. All you need to do is live your life. Everything else is taken care of for you now. This applies to all of your plans and the unfolding of all of your relationships. Let it all breathe and let the divine happen as it will. And I'm really seeing you do that with these last cards here with the the fool, the queen of pentacles and the page of cups. It's like you really do just let go and let life spontaneously bring you whatever it needs to in the area of love and relationships. And you can trust in your experiences of the past to know when you need to assert your boundaries and protect yourself or when it is okay to be open and vulnerable with people. I really do feel like you are coming into a whole new time when it comes to that but it's going to be a road to get there I do have to say I do feel like you're processing a fair bit of hurt um, maybe even to do with a parent here a father or, or just a parent there's I don't know there's a mother in the card but I kind of felt father or something there you might be dealing with a lot of things on your own there may have been a loss 
but I do see you start starting a fresh journey and but that's more with yourself I, re I really do see there building abundance work focusing on your career you know and and friends and just art going to theater going to plays things like that going to art galleries there's something about enjoying um uh what do you call it the the arts <laughs> the arts <laughs> however they manifest right so we have the card leg up as well so we'll go to the book as well for this in relationship message the relationships that are healthy thrive on interdependence it's important to recognize that you need others as much as they need you you must allow people to support you just as you are there for them this is a time to be vulnerable to speak up about your needs and to ask for them to be fulfilled trust you do you will be met with kindness and love don't expect others to read your mind though ask and it is given there's a lot of talk here about you know not going it on your own you can see here you may have been dealing with some stuff on your own a fair bit and it is the new experiences the reaching out opening up is is really going to bring you what you need with relief release and growth so in these cards here, these are some Uncover Love Oracle. So your worst brings out the worst in you, act out of character or facing the shadow self. This might be a theme in relationships or a current relationship you may be in, feeling like they sometimes bring out the shadow of you. Trust, trust in your actions, feel they can depend on you, don't doubt your intentions and proud, proud to have you, talks about you all the time, very impressed with you. So those of you that are not in a relationship, these can indicate what you have been through and what you're wanting. So you may have been in relationships that are very triggering for you and you may be wanting something that's just a little bit more secure and safe and nurturing and soft and gentle and I really feel that as I say that. Like I think you got a full list of the things you just really want, and I'm and as I'm connecting to that, it comes from exhaustion. So I feel like, you know, it, it, I feel like a bit of an at wit's end energy here for some of you. You may feel this doesn't have to be your intimate relationship. Like I said before, it can be friends or family. You may just feel like you would like, you know, to to have these feelings in relationship this year, and this is something that you are going to be striving towards. When you're ready, I feel like this week like, with trust and proud, like it's, it shows that when you are ready, you're not going to settle for less. But I'm not getting an indication of someone coming in. It doesn't mean there's not. This is a general reading, but this reading is mostly wanting to talk about when real area of love and relationships, you focusing on yourself um, and then be, being with someone that you can trust and that has good intentions and you feel proud of them, they feel proud of you, you're on the same page. And with that proud one, I'm also getting like somebody who has similar interests or understanding as you do and the, the things that you do aren't weird or woo-woo, they're actually embraced and accepted. Things like somebody like that. So some of you may already have that person in your life and that's fantastic if you do. Maybe they do bring out the worst in you at times as well. These can be different people in your lives as well. So a bunch of other oracles came. We had neroli cause and effect was the main one and then these came in a bunch so i took them simply because it said trust and benevolence clear intentions and courageous and then judgment and trustworthiness so you've got trust here three times in this reading so it's very clear that your trust has been broken and now that's something that's really important that you do have tr that trust and security in relationships moving forward it's going to be something you make sure of that you're not over giving because you are definitely a nurturer you have a lot to give a lot of different skills in your tool belt um, not only can you be a wonderful partner you can be a fantastic parent and you can be a fantastic guide and friend you can run a business you can cook you can fix you can clean you can do so many there's so many different things that you are have to offer and are a part of with ginger clear intentions courageous i'm also just getting that idea of community being around people that work with you or, or joining a community to work on a, a joint project like um, have people that are in your life that support who you are as an individual and then judgment and trustworthiness with petty grain as well so the main card I wanted to go to for this deck is neroli cause and effect um, back this way neroli I don't know where I'm going to read from maybe there when it really comes to you in a reading, pay attention to every thought, word and deed, which is a cause that sets off a wave of energy throughout the universal grid. 
which in turn creates the effect. Do you want your effects to be desirable or undesirable? Adjust your thoughts accordingly. Flow with life, dance with the wind. There's no point trying to control the riptide right now. Make sure that in the future, your actions don't create the riptide in the first place. Be constant and holistic in your actions. The affirmation is, I am in control of my reactions. I write my own destiny and I create a stress-free world for myself. That's, yeah, definitely what you're doing here. See that with you taking back your power, especially with that, you know, the Eight of Swords being in the center of feeling powerless. You turn within for the answers. You know the answers are inside of you and so is all of the strength needed for you to embrace new opportunities you're going to be doing something very different. And I feel like for some of you, this is about, this is actually a change that you might be afraid to take. And I know this is about relationships, but I feel like it ripples into another area of life. Like maybe you're moving away or something and you might be a little bit afraid, but you've got all that it takes and it's actually going to be really exciting and colorful for you, full of ex different experiences that you need to live through. Opportunities await. So in the area of, careers and prosperity we have yang birch number one so that's two cards indicating one you're at a fresh new beginning for sure we have science celebrate uh, patience um, say yes to the things you think you can't do were uh, the artist we talked about artistry before actually work smart and then for your tarot we have the am i going the right way this time let me make sure i got it right is that right yeah <laughs> right we have the hero font ace of wands judgment five of cups six of cups two of wands ace of pentacles death Strength. I feel like mentioning Scorpio and Leo there for some reason. Six of Swords and Four of Pentacles. I don't know why, but just the fact that they're major energies, they're fixed signs perhaps. We've got Taurus here as well. So, yeah, maybe even Aquarius if you want to bring it in. All right, so <clears throat> this is career. And uh, no, not relationships, career. And prosperity, starting with Yang perhaps. Ooh yang and card of action a card of making it happen is masculine energy and let's go straight to the book for yang with prosperity prosperity projects partnerships and all matters relating to your business are out of the obstacle phase and on the make it happen phase now is the time to stake your claim and get things done. While you can expect to be busier than usual, this card tells you that you have all the energy and vitality you need to accomplish your goals. Abundance is waiting for you to claim it. Probably makes sense why the Queen of Pentacles was at the end of your love and relationships area of this reading because it's like really clear that you're going to be working on your career this year that may be more important to you building yourself up, building your life up, and making things come to life. We've got the ace, actually you can't even believe it. You've got the ace of wands underneath this yang and number one birch. So all of these fresh beginnings, you've got the hierophant there and the, the judgment, the way that sits on the table, it's almost like this, this light is shining down on you. We've got this realization, like this calling. This is a very strong calling energy. You're feeling called to do something. Maybe it's to teach something, to share your work, to share the wisdom. There is, or maybe even to study deeper, study higher wisdom. You've got here with the Hierophant, a deepening commitment to a new passionate project, a new idea, some sort of calling. You're being really encouraged to go for it. Say yes to the things you think you can't do. That is what is up this year in Korea. But also having patience while it all unfolds. There's no rush to this beautiful organic flowering. Divine timing is at hand. It will require having faith while you are shown the way. You may feel tired and out of balance, but the universe is forcing you to rest and recover. Money may be slow coming in or unsatisfied with your finances. That is definitely turning around slowly. You're just needing patience and to follow that pathway. I'm going to go to Birch. Is that the... Yeah, Birch. The, in Irish communities, the traditional winter yule log is cut from the birch tree. A broom from birch twigs is used to brush out the dust of the old year and bring in the new. And it's interesting because we're doing the new year reading. 
Um, and household fires are doused and then relit from the central Yule fire to bring the community together. You are facing new beginning, but do not embark upon this future alone. You will have a stronger start if you rely on friends, family or colleagues to support you through your first steps. Do not fear removing what is past its use. 100%. This is a time to clear out, to set new year's resolutions, to write to-do lists, plans, vision boards, all of those things. There's new beginnings here for you to embrace. So we also have the six of cups, the five of cups and the two of wands. So something in the past here has led to a great deal of dis disappointment for you. Maybe even having to face something from the past having to leave it behind so that you can take a new path, something you may have given a lot to here. It could have to do with family as well. You maybe it's that for some of you, you've maybe been busy taking care of family members or children for such a long time that now it's time to grieve that change in your life, that change of role, that change of responsibility or change of just lifestyle and move into something else. You're, you're going to be creating a massive change. Some of you might be children starting school or something and it's like the first day is so sad to see them go but it's time to plan for the next adventure for yourself and for them um, there is a great deal of change and it, it definitely revolves around the past and family but you're going to be moving in or something you've done in the past as well but you, it's going to be worth it these changes although they're sad or hard to adjust to You've got something new that is just about ready to come in for you. And then we have the Ace of Pentacles. There it is. It arrives. So some offering, a new project, a new job, a new offering. Something, something sprouts out from the garden bed here. We have death and strength here as well. So this is a major change and transformation for you that's asking you to step up to it. Part of you will resist this change or it may come in a way that makes you think, oh, that's not for me. I don't want that. I don't think that's right for me. But you're asked to reconsider, to say yes to the things that you think you can't do because there's something in amongst all of that that leads you to where you need to be. You're going to need to trust when a big change comes in, an offer comes in, an offer you may not really want to take. It, it's worth considering how there's actually an opportunity in amongst that offering and then you have the six of swords and the four of pentacles this is definitely a time to get yourself out of times of stress and challenge and in building yourself a solid foundation so this to me is not about seeing really big results although you may um general reading but um this is definitely showing me that this is a time of maybe recalibrating rebuilding um saving money saving resources being really just just super organized or efficient and practical and not overspending or over over you know anything exerting and i'm getting as well it'd be important to look at your personal year number for this year and look at a little reading on that just google personal year calculator it's not the same as your life path but it is your personal year for this year of 2024 so you can see what theme it might be for some of you it might be a four year i just that's why i felt like saying it because i see the four of pentacles and I know being prepped for a four year is really ideal because otherwise you might have really high expectations when the year is more about building things and not really seeing those results, but getting the work done. That's kind of what I feel for you. You may be a four year or it might just be worth looking at numerology, what, what holds this, what, what this year holds for you. So with science, there is something unfolding for your work for you work with an open mind consider careers in science or any job that unravels the mystery of the universe and this is the science of anything right this could be the science of brain science the science of movement i study kinesiology which is the science of movement there's the science of this that or the other there's so many different sciences so i think this is also about applying yourself learning new things um, being really invested in what you're passionate about Apply a scientific approach to your business or financial problem. And that's, that's what I was saying before, actually, about the, this is, that's so scientific, actually. The Six of Swords, Four of Pentacles, because it is all about you getting clear and calm and under control and being organized and practical. And that's the scientific approach, saving your money, having a careful plan, creating a vision board. You're creating something great this year. Celebrate. You've accomplished so much more and you, so much, and you will accomplish so much more. Take time off to celebrate your success. You do deserve it. There may be an unforeseen increase in your income. 
this year. So have patience for that because there will be a lot to celebrate this year, especially given you're ready to say yes to things you think you can't do. And then we have the artist finding the uh, focus on finding the beauty in your day to day life. That's incredibly powerful. The artist can be a photographer, painter, film, graphic artist or web designer. If you can't make a living with your art full time, then start part time. Just get started and work smart. Are you making it harder than it has to be? Sometimes the solutions are that simple. Perhaps it's time to clean house personally and professionally to start with a clean palette. Stick to basic needs when it comes to spending and putting some money aside. That was very, very clear. It is definitely time to be smart with money, putting money aside and just working with the beautiful abundance you have at your fingertips because there is plenty. Always acknowledging that, even when it's a pinch, thank you. You know, giving thanks always for the abundant support. Now we move into the area of uh, self-care, personal development. You have I embrace change. She does look a little scornful about that idea. List why I'm awesome. These self-caring prompts. These are all my self-care decks. Um, read. She's reading a ghost story. Read for fun. Nurture. Health checkup. Aromatherapy. And with aromatherapy, we had a, what did we have? We had birch. You might, yeah, it was birch. Is that the essence? No, there's an essence card here. Where is it? Oh, that's right. You've got heaps of them. You've got ginger, neroli, pettigrain, or marjoram. These, they might be essences you wish to work with, with aromatherapy. We have massage. I felt like that one's important. Um, Self-massage, but also just once a, once a month, once a quarter, whenever you can fit it in, but do it more than once a year. <laughs> Should take my own advice. Bad habits. Change a bad habit. Ground yourself. In case you missed that, root chakra. <laughs> And um, then we have your tarot, starting with the Eight of Pentacles, Prin Princess of Wands, King of Wands, Two of Pentacles, Chariot, Cancer Energy, Seven of Wands, Queen of Wands, High Priestess, Pisces energy and star, Aquarius energy. I didn't read the signs in the other readings, but I felt like it this time. So maybe I've got a lot of astrologers in this group. People that do really take a lot from the stars. So where are we? Self-care and development, starting with I change, I embrace change. You can see a lot of change in amongst all of this here. And again, indication that you're going to be working on your career or working on yourself working on your finances, working on a project here. Eight of Pentacles is somebody who's not distracted by what other people are doing. So you're not gonna be comparing yourself to other people or fussing over where you ought to be this year. You're gonna be really head down, bum up and focusing on your own projects, building yourself out of a situation or just creating a beautiful reality for yourself. With the Page of Wands, I did feel like then you might be at a distance from someone. This is not for everyone, but just that love letter there, her rose. You may have a partner who works away for work and you're missing them a fair portion of the year. So it might be about finding yourself in that time or what you can do to be with yourself, date yourself or just not be simply waiting for their return or waiting for a partner in general. If you're single, you might be sort of finding yourself in that place of you can't go out for a dinner if you don't have a partner to go with or you can't do certain things, you can't date yourself. So that might be something changing for you this year, wanting to spend more quality time with yourself, doing things that you enjoy not having to wait for someone else, but also developing, like actually getting dance classes here for someone. You might take up a dance class or some sort of art class where you can practice this skill of self-expression and get better at it. Um, spending more time in nature, spending more time with animals, going for sweet little walks, traveling, short day trips, all of these things are in the King of Wands here for you. Um, for some of you, you do have a very special relationship here for you. 
um, I know I did, I did say in relationships earlier that like it's not really coming through it didn't seem to be important but this relationship doesn't have to mean um, a partner intimately it can also be um, like a, a, somebody who's a teacher or somebody who's a guide for you so you I feel like for a lot of you stepping up into that energy yourself taking more leadership or teaching other people finding your own way we have the two of pentacles in the chariot as well so you definitely we've marked here a few times in your reading about big changes and not going it alone but you're a big part of you i feel is i, feel, I get that a lot with group three is very hyper independent and um basically the boss of your own domain you don't really like i want to say you don't really need help but you you do we all do and so maybe just accepting that just the fact that you might need help sometimes you can't juggle it all on your own but there is a lot of changes here for you and you might find yourself sort of pulled back between the old and the new a fair bit here but either way you are more than equipped to move forward with this your life in in a way that is empowering to you and feels good for you with the seven of wands and the queen of wands next definitely seeing that you are standing up for yourself in situations where there is adversity or conflict people accusing you or people um you know minimizing your work or you know whatever it might be just that sort of attack energy i haven't gonna really haven't got my words today very much but here we are um seven of wands is about rising up against adversity and standing up for yourself and with the queen of wands king of wands in this reading it's like you really are trailblazing and standing up for your own rights or your own self-determination and you're ready you're absolutely ready look at these last cards for your reading this is in self-care queen of wands the empress and the star look at you look at how you're shining coming from this page of wands to the queen of wands you are your internal growth you're, all of that is going to really show by the end of the year. You're going to be really strongly connected to your intuition, to source, to your mission, to your purpose, to that sense of healing, that, that seek healing. Oh, you will find it. Oh, you will find it and you will share it. You will radiate it. Seek healing is what it's all about this year and that's what you're doing. You're going to be seeking healing. You're going to be sharing a lot of the wisdom with other people as well, leading the way. I feel like for some of you, you might be, um, this is not for everyone, of course, but there's someone who's creating like a trauma group or like a group of recovery from trauma. Like you, you might have not started this yet, but you're going to bring people together in a circle or something like that, some sort of um, healing or trauma recovery. Definitely. You've got a lot of things to share with the world, a lot of wisdom, a lot of healing, and you will do that. So what else do we have in your self-caring prompts? You had lists why I'm awesome, and it's a good idea. You're obviously needing to remind yourself who you are, what you're made of, and why it is that you're awesome. So do write down this list. Be mindful. If this, is, if this card is coming out, then maybe you're a little bit of a harsh critic. I think we're all harsh critics of self, but it might be really worth paying attention to that and reining it in because you don't need that harsh criticism. You need reminding of your greatness. Reading, just for fun, I feel for this one, maybe for education as well, of course, like it's brilliant, but I feel like just reading for fun, reading a little fantasy adventure or something. Nurture the new growth that is within you and also your new projects. It is a time to really take care of yourself and all of the new growth that is available to you. It's trying new things, embracing new things. And that comes with boundaries and all of that as well. All those little parts of you that are uncomfortable to exercise at first. It is just a wee little seedling, but it needs your strength and continued support in choosing the same thing over and over again. The, you know, once you've committed to some change to really keep choosing it to let it grow we have health checkup we saw so it might be a good idea to really be mindful of your physical health get all your bloods checked maybe it's a good idea to see a clinical nutritionist that focusing on gut health perhaps um, you may already have a condition that you're working with professionals and it might be advised to maybe get a second opinion or just surround yourself with more support for your physical health for some of you um, just, I don't know why I keep coming back to numerology. I was going to say it's the sixth house or there might be something going on in your sixth house or it might be a sixth year for you. 
um, where health and routines are really important to pay attention to. We have astro uh, astrology, oh God. We have aromatherapy, as we've discussed before, a bunch of those essences you might like to use. They're really, really beneficial. Uh, aromatherapy, massage, giving a massage for yourself, but also um, booking in more than once a year, as I said before. Change a bad habit, you know what that is for you. Maybe it's smoking, maybe it's ice cream, but you know, if it's not serving you, you'll feel much better having rid yourself of that. And then you've got ground yourself with root chakra. So it's like, I get a bit of like an acceptance vibe with this one. Love just like, a, like and getting let the chips fall where they may as well. So like, this is a bit of a let go of control energy, but just ground yourself in your own knowing, in your own truth and trust. Because so, the chariot is here as well, which shows that you, not only are you grounded, you're capable of dealing with anything that might threaten to, you know, dysregulate you or unground you, knock you off your horse, whatever. Um, you've got more than what it takes to navigate that and stay grounded, stay focused and stay strong because the chariot shows that you've been through your fair share of challenges and now you've got the confidence to navigate any future challenges that come up from a certain something. Because there is a certain something here that's not dealt with you are going to deal with it it's not going to be easy i'd say you're going to have to do things to protect yourself or push back but you are only standing up standing up for your own rights is what i'm getting or you're only like you are the queen of wands so everything is fine you will be fine just stay true to who you are and don't overreact is what i'm getting in that situation when you do have to face something i'm getting like for someone maybe there's a upcoming court date or something like a, a some sort of head-to-head -head moment but It'll be fine. It'll be absolutely fine. And it'll be how it's supposed to be. Nine of Wands. Did I split and get that before as well? I think I did. It definitely shows that there, while there is a challenge, you may be exhausted. You've got what it takes to have that last push of perseverance to get you over the goal line. <laughs> We've got the tower here as well. All right. You've definitely. All right. Let's get one more then. The tower. I'm not sure what it is I'm after. It's Knight of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles. Yeah, exactly. The Tower moment may have already happened for you where things have. We saw the world earlier in your reading where there has been a big cycle of closing out. But you're going to need some help to get back on your feet. So do lean on people. Um, also give help where you can too, of course. But slowly, slowly and steadily, with the help of your community and the people that care for you, you will get to where you want to be. Just trust. Stand up for yourself. Uh, help find help with an advocate if that's necessary like a, a, a lawyer even if that's necessary but either way you you do end things up pretty well here for yourself with the queen of wands the high priestess and the star for your self-care so or use personal development you're definitely definitely flourishing through all of the challenges so group three that is what i have for you in this peek into 2024 reading i hope it has given you some sort of comfort clarity or guidance and i look forward to reading for you all again next week bye group three